It's been just three days since Tropical Storm Hillary, what was Tropical Storm Hillary, slammed Southern California, leaving behind flooded roads, fallen trees, and lots of mud. Californians are exhausted with the cleanup efforts. They say it's the uh, storm of the century. Fox's Mills Hayes tonight, live in uh, an area that was particularly hard hit. Mills, what are you seeing there? Hey, John and Christina. Well, I'm standing in the middle of a road. It's closed down right now. You guys can see there's mud, rocks, and gravel all on top of this road here. Now, typically, this road underneath, there'd be a creek coming through here. You guys can see some water right over here. That creek now flowing over the river because all those mudslides came down from the mountains and dragged all of this mud on top of the creek. And since the sun's been beating down the last three days it's dried up all of this mud and now there's it's a creek definitely not a river anymore and it's looking a lot worse than it was many people have been telling us that they're ready for things to get back to normal we've seen crews all around the county today working to get the mud and dirt off the roads layers of dirt took over some home driveways there are chairs and garbage cans stuck in the mud Bob Fonzi lives in the Ukaipa mountains. Two years ago, neighbors across the street held a gender reveal party that sparked massive wildfires in the region. Fonzi says mudslides carried all that debris left over from those wildfires into his yard. His tw the 12-foot deep creek now plugged up with mud and down trees. We've lost homes down here. I guess it's going to take a human life to be lost before they actually do something constructive. We, the homeowners, can't keep fighting this. I can't do any more than I can do on my own property. This is on my dime. Insurance doesn't cover it. I, this is going to be 100 grand out of my pocket. 40 miles away in the desert of Thousand Palms, roads are washed out too. People who live in a mobile home park have a pit of sand and rocks as their entrance and exit. People in these desert communities tell me they're desperate for help. I'm concerned that uh, they've taken care of uh, the whole entire desert except for Thousand Palms. Right. I mean, look at our look at look at all this. Right. I mean, we have all these rocks right here. We came to drive through. We came to get out. We have one way in and one way out, and that's it. We spoke with the county of San Bernardino here, and they tell us they have about 250 cleanup operations going around the county, 24/7. They say that it could take millions of dollars to clean up all of the damage left behind by Tropical Storm Hillary in Yucaipa, California. Mills Hayes, Fox 10 News.